So the question is, the question is, what if I can't locate childhood memories for the unseen therapist to address? Well, I'm going to read to you a question here in a minute, but but uh, just for those not familiar with how this our unseen therapist optimal EFT process unfolds, um, we like to go for causes of things that typically those are unresolved emotional causes, guilt, anger, grief, things. And typically they happen way, way back in your childhood. In fact, the farther back they are, and we all have these, by the way, <laughs> uh, the um, more foundational they are likely to be. Well, yeah, you're going to go back a ways. And, you're, you know, the memory when you, back when you were two, three, four years old may not be as as good as when you're five, six, seven, eight, or older, and and so on. So what to do? What to do? We want to get to these specific events. They can, they contain typically a lot of important stuff that needs to get resolved, so we have personal peace, and our ailments start to fade. Right? But let's let me address this uh, or read this question, dear Gary. I just signed up last week for the optimal EFT course. I am very enthusiastic. I am practicing every day, but I find it hard to find childhood issues. All right. Well, I see that with some frequency. And let's talk about that because there's, there's, you know, it may be the memories, you know, it's a little bit too far back, but there may be some other things in there as well. So let's, let's talk about that a bit. Many people, more people than you would think, don't remember childhood issues, not because the memory isn't quite what it could be or it's too far back. Well, that could be a player, but there's often something else going on. There is something back there that to the child, you or your client, was so traumatic that you don't, your system protects you by repressing that memory so it doesn't show up. All right? I've dealt with people that have had severe childhood sexual abuse, very severe childhood sexual abuse, which they just blank right out. Their system represses it. They don't remember it at all, which means they also don't remember a lot of other things as well. The whole periods are blacked out. When they get 40 or 50, they start remembering them and whoa, does the trauma ever hit them? It's a, it's a biggie. So it needs to be resolved. So I, I'm telling you that because while there are there are ways to address these issues, you have to take care of yourself, but you may want to do this in the presence of someone very skilled with this kind of trauma. Right? Doing it on your own, uh, many people do get success with it. But it might be more than you can handle. So I'm just giving you that little caution up front. Now, okay, so you may even suspicion, by the way, that something traumatic happened back there. You just don't know what. But what you can do, what you can do, and this, this can work really nicely, is you can make up a specific event a traumatic specific event from your own childhood. And if you make one up, and let's just say you make one up and there's sexual abuse involved in it, or that would be one category. Maybe you got hit or abused or yelled at or, or, or you had an accident and fell off of something and something you got scared and don't want to remember it and so on. If you have that kind of thing, you can make up specific events that would contain such a thing. I mean, make it up. Um, I'll, I'll just use the, an accident, for example. Assume you were in an automobile and you went through the windshield, okay? And you were four years old and you just don't remember it. Well, if you make it up, go through it. 
visualize it and be imagine yourself in your own body in the car going through the windshield etc if you get intense about that oh god ah, that's a clue that maybe not that specific thing happened but something happened that you may be repressing and not remembering right. so if you get intense if you don't get intense about it well go and want to make something else up and so on but the mere fact that you get intense about it is a clue that uh oh something unresolved needs to be there it's one thing to not like it but it's another thing, you know, if your heart starts pounding and you start sweating and, and, and you get constrictions in your chest or your body someplace and your throat tightens up and, or whatever, you start to get that kind of response. It's a clue. It's a solid clue. Something happened. So you can now bring in unseen therapist with our personal peace procedure. Um, and that, by the way, is described not only in our advanced training, but in our, in our, um, my free ebook called The Unseen Therapist. Links to that are in the essential links below, by the way. But you can start addressing that specific event that you made up just as though it was real. And often, often, that event will no, even though it's made up, will no longer bother. You won't get the tight throat, the heart pounding, or whatever the physical symptoms may have been there. You have done something to resolve that. And you may start getting clues to what really happened, pieces of memories to what really happened. And then you can start getting into more detail and so on. But that's a, that's a way to get into this. Um, and it's been a very effective way. I've seen a lot of people get, get through a lot of really tough stuff doing this. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to urge you to and take care of yourself on this. It's going to be your choice to have somebody present with skills in this particular, particular area. But anyway, anyway, just because you don't remember a specific event doesn't mean it isn't there and it doesn't mean you can't address it you can in the way i just talked about make it up anyway i hope that was helpful i'll see you next time